Let's review the RSI Mantis. Okay, first, uh, I'm going to take a look at the exterior shape. Well, the exterior, I think it's, it's, um, I think the front part of the ship makes sense. And I like the, the wide area over here. Looks good, it looks, it looks bulky. Like that in the ship. Now, the, the two things I really don't like is, um, cockpit being pointed like this, like on all RSI ships. I think they should cut that down so it only goes up to here. So it's more sn snub-nosed. And I don't like the, uh, I assume that's the thrusters. They have no reason to, to be attached like that. The only reason I think they are attached like that is to give it a more quote-unquote interesting silhouette. And I think the emphasis on cool silhouettes is a bad thing. Because it gets in the way of uh, making something look functional. For example, if there's something that looks really functional, and then an art director looks at it and says, oh, but what about the cool silhouette? And then they artificially boost the silhouette just to make it look cool from the silhouette. And I think that actually hurts the, the looks of the ship. Because I believe that functionality is the ultimate aesthetic in, in ship design. <clears throat> okay, let's get a bit closer. Oh, it looks good from the front. I like the, the landing gear, the way it's uh, it's just functional. It's it's not designed to look way to look to look cool or sleek. It's just um, yeah, it looks it has a certain stout functionality to it. I really like that. What I also like is that that bubble canopy shape from the front. It, it's you can really see on the inside of the ship. I really like the the front the front, uh, the front part of the ship. Looks really nice. This one right here. Yeah, the front of this ship I really like. What I don't like already is, you see all those angular shapes on the interior. It, it's a bit, the exterior sleekness is, is creeping into the interior, where it shouldn't do it. Because the interior doesn't have, it hasn't have a reason to be this angular like that. But I'll talk about it when we get inside. <coughs> yes, that would looks really nice. I really like the way the um, the initial launch is uh, inside this uh, this cavity in the ship. For the textures. I'm not liking that brushed aluminum blotchy stuff here, but I do like the. Um, there's a lot of good polygon detail on these um, on the screws. How who uses uh, slit screws like that? I'm not sure what the English word of that is. If you would use a screwdriver, you'd probably use one with the X shape because it's easier to turn. Oh, something like that, yeah. I think there's too much chrome polish over here. You see that? It looks too reflective. That part looks almost the same like this. Like as if they wanted to reuse the same the same texture on something that's close to it. I think that doesn't look good. It should be more matte and less less reflective over here. We get some air intake. I like the slightly crude, blocky look of it. I think it fits the ship well. Oh, like I'm liking this this cut, uh, cut away. Look at this. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks like a duck, like like a foot of a duck. Again, I like the. It doesn't look pretty. It it, it looks more functional than pretty, and that looks really nice. Okay, that's what else do we have. Oh, I like that lighting. Looks good. Top area, I think it's yeah, it's good. It's not too ornamented like on like on the prowler where it basically looks like the spine of, of a bird or something. Oh, that red light looks nice. Yeah, I'm really liking the front part of the ship. Again, I just think that part should be cut off so it's like really short, the stout nose. It'll look much better. Something like Reclaimer has, like this um, the bubble canopy with with the um, was it octagonal um, shapes for the glass? <clears throat> okay, the engine not liking the way they are so flimsily attached to, to the fuselage. Look at this. That looks too flimsy for an engine mount. 
And I think they did it just to enhance the silhouette to make it look cool. I think that's always a mistake. It would look much better if that would be firmly installed into the ship shape and it would make a ship also narrow. Because it looks a bit too much like an origami paper plane, the rear part. They tried a bit too hard to make it look designed, I think. Oh, the exterior shape. I think it... Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I think I really like it. So in terms of function, what, what score should I give it? A piece of paper. I'm gonna call the exterior shape. Not sure, I'm kind of... It has some flaws, but I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10 for the exterior shape. Yeah, I'm really liking this ship from next year. Except for those um, engine parts, they look really nice from next year. <coughs> okay, now, how do we get into the ship? Probably one of those stupid platform cutout elevators that have no real airlock. I'm really not liking this. Uh, yeah, that looks a bit lame. She has no railing for the for the for the pilot or the, the person to hold on to when he's getting inside. Not a good look. Go back in. Now the sound of the elevator is good. Oh my god, it's noisy as hell. Now the engine is off, the power is off. Look how loud the thing is. Okay, I'm going to over to this side so it's a bit quieter. Now later I have to edit the audio so that, that thing doesn't... Oh my god, this is noisy. Okay. <clears throat> I hope I can later edit, edit the volume of that thing in the video. Let's see how it goes. Okay, the first impression when I'm getting inside, that's the lighting that you get when the ship is completely offline. Now, if it's offline, if you ask me, it should be pitch black, no lamp, nothing. However, it looks really nice. I'm surprised how good it looks for an RSI ship, because RSI ships, usually older ones, they have some serious flaws with that. Okay, I'm liking the contrast from this warm, is it brown, brownish, beige lighting? to the to this um, dark blue that looks yeah that's a really good lighting contrast over here okay this is way too loud look at this that's normal in-game volume i have to actually talk really loud to hear myself talk okay so let's do a quick examination of the interior yeah that's some good detail i think they, they did that like in the prowler which has a similar um, rooftop lighting i think like that I'm really liking that orange light. I think it's a bit too bright in your face, but the color of it, it, it's just beautiful. I could just keep staring at it. It's just... It's a perfect, perfect color tone for warm color like this. I wish other ships would have this this, um, this lighting. It, it's really beautiful. And then you notice here that white, white light directly on the chest. See how it contrasts with the ombre or brown or what you call that desaturated orange lighting. That's a beautiful contrast. You got the, this white light in the center and blending to this orange beige. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Okay, let's look at the chair. Again, it looks surprisingly good for an RSI chair. I'm actually amazed how good that thing looks. Like, what the hell? Okay, uh, the first thing I don't like is um, you got this flimsy little um, frame for the um, glass panel cockpit. That's a huge weak point on RSI ships that really bad looking glass plane where you can see through. But other than that, oh, the console, oh my God, it looks nice. Yeah, it could use a bit more polygons over here. I think it's too too metallic. You see, that thing is as metallic and polished as that over here. And I think that's, material definition is really bad over here. Could also use more polygons on that. Okay, let's take a look. The font is readable, that's good. Look at this, a readable font, that's a nice thing. Uh, too much aluminum brushing. I hate that aluminum brushing on chips. I hate it. it it's terrible. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. That's a nice looking chair. I think there's too much wasted space in the front. I mean, it's nice. You can walk up here and look down, but the cockpit hull should only go up, up to this point. It would like, make the sh uh, ship also look a lot better.
also not a fan of that sitting mounted seating. It, it's just, it's kind of weird. Okay, let's look at the real ship. Again, beautiful contrast. You got the dark blue lighting with the pink. Is it pink? Yeah, it looks pink to me. Um, looks really beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to switch go into the cockpit and turn on the power so we see the, the way the ship looks with the lights on. We'll take a look at the cockpit later, just turning power on. <clears throat> okay, I'll take a look at okay, the front looks the same as as if it's dark. It's exactly the same, I think. So I think they probably forgot turning it off. Maybe it's supposed to be dark when the power's off, but they forgot that light state. Okay, now look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm. Oh, I don't know where to start. Like the lighting, it must be one of the one of the best lightings in, in, in tissue ship interior I've seen in this game so far. I'm gonna write down my notes. Interior lighting. Lighting. From the top of my head, if I remember, I don't remember another ship that has lighting that looks so good on average like this. So, interior lighting, I think I would give this one a 10 out of 10. Seriously, that's the best lighting I've seen in the, in the entire game so far, as far as ships go. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Good detail on the ground. I think it's a bit too... It kind of looks like rubber. I like the rubberized, matte rubber look, but it should be a bit better on material definition. I think there are those dirt patterns. They look a bit cheap and low res. See here? It looks a bit too splotchy. And here again, brushed aluminum. I hate that. Really bad. With those inset lines. Not good. Okay. Here we got the component. Housing doesn't work yet. Got a nice band over here. It has nothing to complain about this bed. It's beautiful and functional. Nice gray muted colors. And you got this padding over here. Looks really cool. Not sure what, if that was going to be some shelf or something. Now, what I really do like, again, is that yellow lighting. Like, whoever is the lighting artist on that ship, he absolutely nailed the, the correct color tones. It's not too bright. It's not oversaturated. It, it's just perfect. And the roof lighting, I think it's a bit too bright. Like, um... That line over here, it's too much in your face. However, that part is really nice. It looks like the, like in the prowler when you got the lighting coming from the top. It, it feels like, like daylight coming from the top and I think that's a really cool tip. They should do that in, I think, they should really do that in a bit more ships. Yeah, the lighting is so beautiful in the ship. Well, that's a bit too, the headspace is a bit too low. I mean, playing a female character, look at this. If you play male character, you're probably half a head higher, so they should really add some headspace to the ship. <clears throat> okay, now, look at this. There's a kitchen. Can we call this a kitchen? Okay, it's, it's some drink dispenser and some cooking thingy, which should settle the debate that if a staff, a star, not staff era, star lifter should have a kitchen too, if this little thing can have its own kitchen, then I think all other ships should have one. Okay, not sure what that is. It's gonna be some components. I'm not sure. Oh, restaurant. Good animation and good sound on the door. Let me try this again. Come on, close it. Now, what I don't like is the toilet seat opening automatically with that thing. Maybe sometimes you wanna close the toilet without closing the door. That should be detached from his earth. And you can't really close the door, because if you're sitting down and close the door, you can't stand up from the toilet anymore. No idea what that is, I don't even want to know. So, the interior, I've called it the interior geometry rating. Okay, we got so far the exterior geometry rating, 8 out of 10. We got um, interior lighting, 10 out of 10. Interior, 
I just split it in, in two sections, in, into functionality and into how nice it looks. In terms of asset quality, I think uh, I'll go for 7 out of 10. There's some flaws with it, but um, yeah, let's go 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Area. Interior looks. And interior functionality. I mean, you got a, you got a kitchen, you got a toilet, you got a bed in the ship. You got component housings, you got a nice seat, you got some space to walk around into. However, it doesn't have a real airlock. That's disappointing. In terms of functionality, uh, it almost has everything you need for a small ship like that. So I'm giving it nine out of ten. Okay, what else is left? Um, yeah, let's take a look at the cockpit. I'm going to review the audio of, of the way the ship flies, what sounds it makes. Okay, let's turn off the power. Turn off the power. There's no sound from powering off for some reason. And as you can hear, the idle sounds are a bit too noisy. Turn it on. No sound again. Engine on. You can hear something, but it's quieter than that hollow washing machine sound behind my character. I'm going to turn on track IR. One sec. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, it's way too loud on the idle noise on the ship. And the, the glass panels? Really bad on RSI ships. That's the classic flaw of RSI ships is that... Um, the panels look, uh, they are see-through and they look really flimsy, so that's really bad. I should give it the cockpit rating. Yeah, for cockpit functionality. Yeah, I should make that a rating now. What should I give it? Hmm. Cockpit, uh, what rating should we give it? It has a classic RSI ugly glass panels, which really sucks. <coughs> It has struts. They look some, some, somewhat functional. But what I don't like, it doesn't have like a, a built-in cockpit. It just has the dentist chair hanging from the ceiling. So I'd give it a 3 out of 10. Really not liking that part. OK, now let's review all the audio. I'm going to um, accelerate and listen to the engine sounds. Can't hear anything. Maybe it's bugged or something, I don't know. I can't hear anything. Slowing down. Yeah, it's slowing down. Yeah, the slowing down sound really sucks because it's this this ramping up vacuum cleaner. And I don't think it should ramp up like it's some some video game uh, machine or something. It should just be an even sound that tells you the thrusters are working or something. Okay, let's look at rolling sounds. Can't hear anything, so I think audio is bugged in the ship, so I'm just going to skip audio review until it's completely working. Okay, let's write down audio is bugged, so we're not going to give any rating for the audio on the ship because it's not complete. So is there anything left to do? No. <clears throat> I mean, I should include um, how the quantum thingy works, but I got no targets to use it right now, and I actually don't know how it works, so exclude that from the review. I think players who use that thing more might know more about it. So, and I think that should actually conclude it. Let's recap the score of this ship. Okay, so we got the exterior design. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Then the interior design. No, with the interior lighting, we gave it a 10 out of 10 because it's so damn beautiful. What else we have? The interior looks. 7 out of 10. It, it looks good. It's, it's good quality, but it has some material issues. Too much brushed metal and the rubber doesn't look like rubber and it's not the best, but it's, it's really good. Well, average, better than average, good. Then we got the interior functionality. It's actually quite luxurious for a small ship with only one purpose. You, you, get, you get a bathroom, no sorry, you get a toilet, you get a kitchen, you get a bed that looks nice. Then you get some tier space to put boxes down. So I give it a 9 out of 10. The cockpit experience, it sucks. 
that's a classic RSI. Um, dentist chair hanging from the ceiling and you get the glass panels just moving into the corners of your screen without any built-in cockpit um, dashboard or something. So that's really cheap. So I give that a three out of 10. And for the audio, we're not going to give it any score because I think the audio scape is bugged and not complete yet. So I think this should conclude the video. And as always, uh, thanks for watching.